So in this video, we're going to implicitly find a second derivative. <clears throat> and in the process of doing this, what we're going to see is that we need to substitute previous results and even the original equation back in to simplify things. So this says use implicit differentiation to find the second derivative, y double prime, which can also be noted as d2y over dx2. So notice when you use this notation to represent a second derivative that the two goes in between the d and the y. If we wanted a third derivative, we would go through d3y over dx3. Uh, they look like exponents, but we're denoting derivatives when we do that. So find the second derivative. So we're going to need to find the first derivative. And this is that circle of radius 3 that we've seen in a previous video. So we've already calculated its first derivative. We'll go ahead and do that again. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. And to get the first derivative with respect to variable x, we're going to need to take d dx of both sides. So the derivative of x squared by the general power rule is just 2x. The derivative with respect to x of y squared, so y, this is a, this is a uh, function composition, so the function y is inside of the squaring function. So by the chain rule, we'll take the derivative of the outer function, so the 2 comes down into the coefficient position. We reduce the exponent by 1, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of y is just y prime. And y to the first, we don't need the to the first power. So we wind up getting 2y, y prime right there, equaling the derivative of a constant 9 is 0. Now we want to solve it for y prime. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. We're going to divide both sides by 2y to get y prime by itself. And then we simplify that and we get the opposite of x over y as the first derivative or y prime. So to take the second derivative, we just take the derivative of the derivative. So we take d dx of both sides of y prime. So we take d dx of y prime equals d dx of the opposite of x over y. And the derivative with respect to x of the derivative is just the second derivative. d dx of y prime is y double prime or the second derivative equals, I want to recognize that I have negative 1 times x over y, so I have a constant multiple, which is the same as the constant multiple of the derivative applied directly to the function. So opposite of d dx over, of, sorry, opposite of d dx of x over y. And then what I want to recognize here is I have a quotient, x over y, so I'm going to need to use the quotient rule. <clears throat> so I'm going to get y double prime equals the opposite of apply the quotient rule to x over y. So the derivative with respect to x of x is just 1. d dx of x is 1. Quotient rule says take the derivative of the numerator times the denominator. So we get 1 times y minus the quotient rule says take the derivative of the denominator, but the derivative of y is y prime. And then the quotient rule says multiply that times the numerator. And then the quotient rule says divide by the square of the denominator. The denominator is y, so we're going to divide by y squared. So this equals, and if I look at this, I can clean things up a little bit. So what I want to notice is that I have the opposite sitting out here of y minus y prime times x. But we actually know what y prime is. y prime from our previous result here is the opposite of x over y. So the y prime here in the numerator can be replaced with the opposite of x over y times the x that's already there. And this is all over y squared. So this is the same as the opposite of y double negation right there is a plusy and it's x squared over y all over 
y squared. And in the previous homework assignment, we had uh, we had a video where we talked about how to clean something up, how to rewrite something before we work work on it. So here I see I have a denominator of y, and I'd like to clean that complex fraction up. So I'm going to multiply by y over y. So this equals, if we do that, distribute the y into the numerator, d d distribute the numerator y into the numerator of this fraction. So we get y times y is y squared plus x squared over y times y. This y is going to cancel with this y in the denominator and leave me with an x squared in the numerator. And then I'll distribute the denominator y into the y squared to get a y cubed. And then we're almost done. Right here, x squared plus y squared, but look back at the original. What does x squared plus y squared equal? x squared plus y squared equals 9. So this x squared plus y squared right here can be replaced with 9. So we wind up getting the opposite of 9 over y cubed as our second derivative of y.